that we're gonna get tomorrow will make it yes. a soupier yeah. uh -huh. type of, not that we're gonna get a bunch of rain, but it's gonna be more. Like the know, vibe for a, soup. Yeah, more of a I'll soup. wear a sweater and eat some soup tomorrow <laughs> too. And if you get there early, Mike, you get your selection of the bowls. They're not all the same size. Ah. You pick your, your, so your little inside information tidbit there. Yeah, extra large bowl. The front we're talking about uh, is up in West Texas and the Panhandle, there are going to be severe storms firing up right along the warm front of this system, but uh, that's the front that will bring in the cooler weather to South Texas. Look at the 90s down the Rio Grande there. Del Rio, Laredo, both in the mid 90s while it's freezing up in Amarillo north of the cold front that we're going to receive here tomorrow morning. So for us, it's kind of cloudy 79. Southeast wind is up there near 30 miles per hour. Quite windy today. Uh, the temperatures will stay in the 70s or middle to upper 60s during the overnight hours. Tomorrow morning early, we're going to see something somewhat interesting happen. The winds will shift to out of the northwest before the front comes in. Uh, this dashed line is called the free uh, prefrontal trough, and so that may kick up a few showers, but temperatures behind it aren't going to drop quite yet. The front will lag behind by three hours or so arriving in Corpus Christi close to seven o'clock. So we'll see that light rain in the forecast. It's not going to amount to much a tenth of an inch at best. And the front passes with mid to 60s, mid to low 60s at seven in the morning and the temperatures again, uh, they're going to be a lot cooler in the afternoon. Mid 80s today, around 60 tomorrow afternoon, upper 50s for some, uh, and then the temperatures really drop into the upper 30s to low 40s by Friday morning. So it's going to be a lot colder. The wind chill will likely be close to freezing and we're going to keep the clouds coming in with temperatures hanging out in the middle to upper 50s on Friday. So the clouds it's going to be thanks to upper level winds coming in from the south and west that will render us cloudy and cool both Friday and on Saturday. It won't be until Sunday with this high pressure feature moving into the Gulf that we get the southerly winds back and temperatures. They respond positively getting into the mid 70s on Sunday, low 80s into early next week. So a warming trend into the weekend tonight. 68 few patchy areas of light rain or fog overnight. The winds will be southeasterly calming down overnight as well. 5 to 10 miles per hour tomorrow. The winds do an about face. They're going to be strong from the north 20 to 30 miles per hour. They'll be gusting up to around 45 miles per hour and the temperatures in the afternoon. They're going to be in the lower 60s with the winds in place. Gale warnings likely for area near shore waters and small craft advisories certainly going to be in effect as the water conditions will be rough. Not the best day to be out there. Mid to upper 50s on Friday will keep the clouds coming. Another somewhat cool day Saturday. Saturday, but that's when the warming trend begins with the high of 63 mid 70s Sunday and then the winds return into early next week, bumping temps up to the low 80s and next Wednesday. It may be similar to what we just had on Valentine's Day where we get the west winds coming in and it bumps temperatures up to around 90 degrees. So wow, uh, yeah, something for everybody there Ooh. in that forecast. Very nice. All right, Alan, thanks still to come on three news.